Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am recording second part of my lecture Learn Hierarchies in SQL Server using Hierarchy ID So we, uh, let us jump into practical directly So let me just remove the table So here in this example what I will do is I will create one table without Hierarchy ID then I will add the column and this table will be made as a traditional hierarchy structure that we have one parent ID or manager ID which is having uh, containing the hierarchy structure so now let us create an empty table and then we will insert some values and if we see now our table is the traditional table structure one is employee ID then employee name and then manager ID so now our main purpose is to generate hierarchy IDs for each of the member now if you s let us take an example now let us take one hierarchy now big boss is the root because its manager ID is the same as employee ID now other people are the child either directly or indirectly under the root now in this uh, if you can see now big boss now employee ID 1 has three direct childs if we just exclude the uh, you can say himself now the first is Joe Mary and Jack so uh, their ID is 2814 so let us take Joe so now root ID uh, hierarchy ID is slash then Joe ID will be 1 because for all three candidates we will generate 1 2 3 number so it will be like Mary will be given 2 uh, and Jack will be given 3 and under Joe again we have two more child one is Jane and Mac Max so for Jane and Max again hierarchy ID will be generic like slash root slash Joe as 1 slash 1 and slash 2 so again we are generating two more siblings so under Max if we see apply ID 5 we have two more ID so the hierarchy ID again will generate 1 and 2 under max so it will be like 1 uh, slash 2 slash 2 because 2 is the max because as the max will get the second as a alphabetical order so it will be like slash 2 slash 2 slash 1 and slash 2 because these are again two childs and which are siblings among each other and will get the hierarchy ID again initialized to 1 and 2 so one thing is common so every whenever there is a change in manager ID we are again start giving you can say the child uh, numbers with 1 2 3 4 series so whenever a new manager ID will come so again we'll give 1 2 3 4 so on so let us add one empty column nullable no column so if we see now we have one empty column with the hierarchy ID data type so now our purpose is to initialize the you can say this column now let us see uh, basically I have to do is recursively because hierarchy can be recursive it can go to n, le n level so we have to run a recursive CT to get uh, to generate our output so let me show you I have two CTs which are interlinked with each other now I will show you the first CT output the first CT output is nothing what I am doing is I am generating row number like it 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 again pa by partitioning it by manager ID so for under each manager again all the childs will be given number uh, starting from 1 and so on so manager 1 has 3 childs so he has given 1 2 3 and then manager 2 has 2 childs so again 1 and 2 then manager 5 has 2 childs so if we see again 1 and 2 are given the so row number is again and again uh, I think if you are uh, familiar with this partition by clause uh, you can say operator then you will be able to understand very easily like this is the output of our query we are reinitializing our serial number for each child under each manager so this is the one now if you see now this query is only getting me all the nodes except the manager root node so here I'm not getting the root node now here I need to write one recursive CT in the first part I'm getting only the root root node here okay now in the second part what I'm doing is second part I'm joining this with the you can say um, uh, joining the output of this with this along with this one why this one because here what happens is what I need to do is I have to get uh, you can say here I am getting suppose now this query will get me the root so first what I will do is I will get root and its node so uh, now root node if you remember root has three childs so oh sorry 
so root has three child so the first execution of the recursion will get me these three IDs now these three IDs I will again join with the siblings to get their serial number like slash one slash two slash three okay and once I got that then I will add it to the root you can say the output uh, the uh, you can say node uh, hierarchy value of this node along with the sibling so what I will be able to get is I will get all the hierarchies IDs generated along with the structure now if you see now 2 was the Joe so slash 1 now Joe has two child Max and Jane so Max and Jane if we see so we have uh, wait a second one slash okay max engine and now max has two more so max has here two more so here you can see this is what we got now our main concern is now updating the values that is very easy now we can directly make a join with employee table and once we make the join we will be able to achieve our result we updated all the records and now if we see the output you are able to see I got my uh, uh, you can say node uh, hierarchy ID already constructed and properly initialized now uh, this is not very much practical scenario the problem with this scenario is uh, usually there uh, if you are ag ex uh, updating existing hierarchy structure the problem comes is uh, you will have a huge data in your table and it's very difficult to uh, you can say update them all in one go so let me show you how you can do the incremental update so what I will do is I will again initialize it to the null so now it will add little bit more complexity to the logic now I will show you why now what this uh, the first city is the same what we had in the previous one uh, generating uh, like you can say row number uh, for each man under each manager for all the childs the second query has three parts one is getting the child and second this is only getting the root and the third is generating subchilds so what happens is now you remember why this is required to get the serial number uh, you can say join for the hierarchy id now here in the first execution when I will do the first update like here what I will do is I will update three record at the time so suppose there is the first initial update is happening so if I see this query this query won't return me any output in the first execution so there will be no output now why there is no output because there it, this has one condition it want to update only the records where node is not null means already we have added the hierarchy ID so currently there is uh, all the columns are empty if we see if you see all the columns will be empty so all the columns are null so it will give me all the values null so instead of this this query will give me the output now what this query is doing this query is giving me the root node and also it has one condition where root node uh, that uh, hierarchy id column is null so means once it is updated this will stop giving me any output so this query will not give me any output in the first execution and this will give me the execution output in worst execution but this query will give me output in the second execution and so on but this won't give me output after the first execution so once my values are updated then my I will join the CT uh, to find its child and again joining with the siblings and generating the hierarchy like what I was doing in the this query so let me execute it once now as I show you this is giving me output in the first execution but after once I update it let me just update for first three values now as he, here you can see it has updated three rows if we want to see there will be three rows updated one two and three yeah and now if I want to execute the second query now if as I told you now already root is updated now let us see root is already updated so I am getting no output with that query after that now but here if I execute this one now so here I will get the three records or two whatsoever the record got updated in that case now I got the updated one now the thing is once I got this list and now I have to search for their child so for their child again I will 
update and I will keep on uh, updating all the values till the time all are not updated and here you find zero rows affected so once zero rows are affected now here you see you have got your output and your table is updated with all the hierarchy ID with a new column now this is how you can do an incremental update I know the script are a little bit messy and difficult to understand but yeah the cursive log logic is always like that so uh, even if you have any question you can reach me on my email ID that is yogesh.man at the gmail dot com you can ping me on skype as well it's king conspiracy and you can call me on my phone number so if you have need any help so uh, stay connected if you have any question please ping me anytime so i hope you get the idea and for the scripts you can uh, follow the link in the dis video description and you'll find that uh, you'll find the scripts so stay healthy keep learning bye bye